Hello, my name is Mark White. I am Adam Cleary's supply teacher, and today we are talking about the superstar of the Clariton Blue Derby at the weekend, Mr. Oliver Watkins, first of his name, King of the Midlands. Now, Villa are absolutely flying at the moment. You don't need me to tell you that. They have been phenomenal this season after a bit of a wobble on the opening day of the season against Newcastle. They are now unbeaten since the start of September and they are two points off the top of the table and it's largely down to this guy. Okay, so it feels about 10 years ago but Steven Gerrard of Al Etifak fame actually managed Ollie Watkins at Aston Villa. I know. Firstly, who else forgot that Jan Bednarak had a stint at Villa Park? Because that just totally passed me by. So this Christmas tree formation kind of came about at Rangers when Michael Beale was assisting with Gerrard. Um, and the key feature here is the two number 10s behind the number one striker. The width is provided from the fullbacks and, and then you've got a more workmanlike midfield three. But Ollie Watkins is not playing up front in this system. There were two strikers in Watkins and Ings. So Ings was one of the buys that came in after Jack Grealish left for £100 million. And Watkins was actually tasked with more of a sort of wide role, more of a sort of playing off of Ings. And actually Gerard found that having Watkins out, out wide, he would put in the yards. He's got that pace to take on a fullback. He's got... He's also got that explosiveness as well, so he can push past you and use his physicality. And and given that Ings was more of that stereotypical kind of box poacher, you know, Watkins was seen as almost kind of like jack of all trades, a kind of all round striker, which it suited him really. But the big thing that Emery has done is to simplify. Watkins role he is no longer that all-round striker who will go into the corners as he mentioned yesterday he will stay central he will lead the line properly and if we look at a stereotypical Unai Emery team as we've got here this is what he did at Villarreal this is what he tried to do at times at Arsenal actually and you've got your typical 4-4-2 shape Emery likes to flood the midfield with sort of natural central midfielders. Uh, this is the team that faced West Ham yesterday. And as you can see, you've got you've got your two forwards up top who are going to lead the press. And with this system, they want to press teams into, into the touchline. They want to funnel teams wide. So the interesting thing about this Emery team is not necessarily that they press particularly high they actually win the ball back in more of this sort of area they play with this high line but ultimately Emery would like to tempt teams onto Aston Villa in order to then break at pace and use those incredibly quick forwards that he's got at his disposal it's almost like creating a transition you're not dominating a team and keeping them in their final third you're keeping them in more of the sort of middle of the pitch and then unleashing hell later on and if we look at Watkins heat map which I'm just going to overlay here you can see that he is staying central and I find it quite interesting that he's got this kind of stripe partner next to him who isn't your stereotypical stripe partner where you do the same things and you sort of one man goes the other one comes short it's almost like Moussa Diaby's job here is to create chaos. He's got to run into these channels. He's got to kind of occupy defenders where Watkins has got the opposite job. He's got to stay focused. He's got to stay patient. And he might not touch the ball for a good 10 minutes, but he's got to stay within that central area of the pitch and wait for his teammates to bring him the service. So I've actually got the FB ref stats up with me here. And... I'm comparing 2021 to 22, so that's, you know, like two seasons ago, versus the last 365 days of playing under Emery. And you can see there's a dramatic improvement here with goals, non-penalty goals. Uh, he's taking slightly more shots, um, 
more sort of expected goals and shot creating actions here but actually you compare it to 21 22 he's more of an all-rounder here you see he's making more progressive carries he's attempting more passes and it illustrates really well how he's literally just focused now on that center forward role you want to be able to have that kind of pacey forward who as your opponent's back line is creeping forward creeping forward you know trying to trying to get higher up the pitch to push you higher and higher somebody like Watkins to then explode off the shoulder of a defender and get in behind I mean look at the goal against West Ham yesterday it's that perfect Aston Villa goal where they pick up the ball within their own half, still sort of in the middle third of the pitch, and then they just catch the opponent on the back foot as West Ham are trying to muster their own attack and try and push forward and pen Villa into their own half. Villa are having none of it, and they go from back to front, or well, sort of middle to front, in a blink of an eye. When you've got a player like Watkins leading the line, when you've got Leon Bailey or Moussa Diaby next to him, you've got that searing pace that defenders don't like to defend against when they're on the back foot, when they're having to turn back to their own goal. But just watching Watkins under Emery, he feels like he is better at decision-making. And I think I've got a stat to sum it up, actually. So looking at the FB ref stats again, Watkins is actually in the 90th percentile for assists for a forward. So he's in the top 10% of making assists for a forward. And as I mentioned earlier, he's not exactly a link-up striker. He's not the kind of striker who's always looking to supply a teammate, which suggests one of two things for me. Either his teammates are very, very clinical and he can just pass to John McGinn and John McGinn will always score a goal, which is fairly possible. John McGinn is very good at scoring goals. Or, and I think it's slightly more likely, Watkins is giving his teammates the ball in very dangerous areas and he's knowing when to release the ball, whether he's the one making the shot himself or he's the one supplying one of his teammates. And it's just a really subtle thing, I think, about his game that sums him up as a player that ever since he's moved into this more central role and ever since Emery has kind of built this team around him and his strike partner, he's almost grown a few inches that he seems more confident as a forward. He knows what his role is all about. Like, we're no longer at this stage where it's like, Ollie Watkins is scoring loads of goals. I'm going to get him in my FPL team. I actually haven't got him on my FPL team because I've got Alvarez and Haaland. So, I mean, really I should practice what I preach and put him in. But like, he's been doing this now for over a year, Watkins. He's been performing at this level. And when he doesn't score goals, he's still making the space. He's still stretching the play for everybody else. But hey, that's just what I think. Please let me know what you think in the comments below, whether you're an Aston Villa fan or not. And please, 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 please remember to like this video and subscribe because that is the best way that we can get new content to you every single day. We've got Adam Monk starting this week. He's going to be coming to you with videos. We've got Adam Cleary coming back in a couple of weeks. And I guess for the next two weeks, this channel is all yours. So whatever you want to see, let me know. If you'd like to see cooking tutorials, I'm up for doing tapas. I mean, we can just clear this whole space and get a pan and some chorizo and I'm ready to go if you are. Let me know. Remember too that the new issue of 442, Ange Postacoglu, the great man, it's out now and we've got a whole video with Big Ange that Adam filmed. He went to go and see him at the Tottenham training ground. It is fantastic, even as an Arsenal fan, I've got to say that. Please get us on social, you know where we are, it's all in the description. I've been Mark White and these are Adam Cleary's Holiday Snaps. Goodbye.